Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. In this lesson, we're going to learn about data sets. Before we can actually start learning more about the math, you need to understand what is a data set. Let's look at some examples. The first one is dealing with money. An everyday example that you might see is when you look at your allowance. So maybe I get $10 a week from my mom, but maybe my friend gets $20 a week and another friend gets $30 a week from his dad. This right here is a data set. It's just a collection of numbers as they relate to a particular subject. In this case, these numbers relate to money or getting paid an allowance. Another example of this is when we're on social media. We have followers and we get likes. These can also be data sets. Maybe I post a picture of my dog and I only get five likes. Then my friend posts a picture of her cat doing something super funny and she gets 25 likes. But maybe an influencer gets 2,000 likes. This here is another example of a data set. Again, a data set is just a group or collection of numbers that relate to a particular object. In this case, we're talking about likes on social media. Now that we understand what a data set is, let's look at the parts of a data set. So first, we need to create a data set. For my data set, I asked some friends how many slices of pizza they would like. Fatma said she would like three slices of pizza. Neil said he would like five slices of pizza. Madison said she would only like one slice of pizza. Joseph said he would like two slices of pizza. And last, there's Charlie, and he said he will have four slices of pizza. Now we have our data set. Remember, a data set is just a group of numbers that relate to an object. In this case, these numbers relate to slices of pizza. Next, we need to look at different parts of a data set. The first part we're going to learn about is called the mean. The mean is just a fancy way of saying finding the average. Do you know how to find the average? If you said add and then divide, you are correct. So let's try finding the mean with our data set. First, I need to add. I see that I have three plus five plus one plus two plus four. And that equals 15. My second step is to divide my total, which is 15, by the number in my data set. So let me set up a division problem. I have 15 and I see that I have one, two, three, four, five numbers in my data set. So I will divide by five. Five goes into 15 three times. This means that my mean or average is equal to three. Now we're going to look at something called the median. Median just means the middle number. 
Now, if you look at our data set, I see that one is the middle number, but that wouldn't be correct because our numbers are not in order. So you have to order the data set from the least or the smallest to the biggest. So let's do that now. If I reorder my numbers, I would get one, two, three, four, five. So my middle number would be three. That means my median equals three. What if another friend joins though? And they said that they also want one slice of pizza. Then my new data set would become one, one, two, three, four, and five. Now, if I look for the middle number, I see that I have two middle numbers. Well, for the median, you can't have two. So what you need to do is find an average, but we already know how to do that. Do you remember how? That's right, we add and then divide. So if we add two plus three, we know that's five. Then we have two numbers in our set, so we will divide. Two goes into five two times, subtract our four, we get one. Oh, there's nothing else to add there, so we put our decimal, bring a zero down, two can go into 10, five times, and we get 2.5. So in this case, our median would be 2.5. Just remember, if you have one number, like up here, that's your median and you're done. But if you have two numbers, you have to find the average. Next, we're going to look at something called the mode. And the mode just means most often. How I remember this is it starts with MO and most often. So the mode is just the number that shows up the most often. So if we look at our data set, what number shows up the most often? Well, in this data set, every number only shows up one time. So that means we have no mode. But what if we use the example from before where another friend showed up and they also wanted one slice of pizza? So now I have three, five, one, two, four, and one. What number shows up the most often, or the number that is repeated the most? That would be one. One shows up two times. So in this case, our mode equals one. The last thing we're going to learn about today is called the range. And this is just when we take the big number, or the biggest number, and we subtract it by the smallest number. So in this case, our largest number here is five, and our smallest number is one. And we know that five minus one equals four. So our range in this case is four. Pretty simple, right? Hope you enjoyed learning about data sets. See you next time. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.